What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again, and this is my beautiful friend Eloise. Say hi, Eloise. Hi, Eloise. Uh, Eloise, say hi to the people, to the whole biscuit. Say hi to the whole biscuit. Hi, Eloise. As we all should be. I'm currently. I'm gonna need you to back up, Eloise, just a little bit. Thank you. Chavez and I are currently practicing social distancing, which unfortunately means that uh, Rice Spice and Dr. Take Your Mom in a Day cannot be here to join us, but it's okay because my friend Eloise is here. She's queer and she's ready to drink some beer. Pause, sorry, technical difficulty. There we go. Uh, so we are here to watch a video about the news that we're missing right now because of the coronavirus. Because yes, I know the coronavirus is happening and it's all anybody wants to talk about, but there's other stuff happening. I would like to know what it is. Hopefully some of it is good and cute. I did hear one thing about how Shed Aquarium is apparently letting their penguins run amok. And uh, that's just a really adorable concept to me. Little penguin just like dee -de 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 -de, walking around, waddling around, super cute. Auntie Hoosens, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, and play. What are we all missing right now? Because it gets overshadowed by coronavirus news. Russian parliament passed a reform allowing Putin to stay president until 2036. Oh shit! Emergency powers to Chancellor Putin. I just read this earlier today. Freaking nuts. Yo. Ethiopia what? is facing mass starvation due to swarms of locusts the size of cities. I saw the fucking Apparently locusts. Apparently they're bringing in hundreds of geese to eat the locusts. <laughs> Cute. A second person was cured of HIV in the UK. That's amazing. The Virginia lawmakers have passed a bill that would see insulin prices capped at $50 per month. Yes! Potentially making the state the third to set limits on the cost of the life-saving medication. That's amazing! Parts of Africa and South Asia are having their crops decimated by a massive locust swarm. And it's estimated to impact the food security for about 20 million That's people. That's fucking shit. You know, like, people keep sharing that video of, like, those locusts to me because everyone knows I hate bugs. And, like, I damn near had a mental breakdown during the grasshopper invasion here in Vegas last year. Um, but I never really thought about how they, like, actually could truly impact an agricultural community. So that's actually super shitty. That's really worrying. Also, low key, this is the end times because like swarms of locusts and a plague, aka coronavirus, and those fires in Australia, like bro, we're done so. Earth is hashtag canceled. Locust, famine, viruses. All we need is a touch of war or raining sulfur, which makes this some biblical shti. Yeah. Arguably the best women's basketball player, Ma Moore, has not played the last couple of seasons because she wanted to focus on trying to release an innocent man from being wrongly accused. A couple of weeks ago she succeeded in that and he was released. Oh that's amazing! What a wonderful the last use of Ebola her time, patient was discharged in DRC. Imagine their reaction when they come out and see this coronavirus oh. mess. Ashti. Here we go again. Didn't Epstein's bank account just quietly shuffle away another 50 million? Excuse me? Not as important as a lot of other issues. Excuse me? But the whole Epstein thing has really fallen out of the news cycle. What do you, what do you, what do you mean shuffled out 50 million dollars? Shuffled out to where? To whomst? Why does he still have a bank account? What? Lee Weinstein was found guilty and will die in jail. Nah, nobody needs him dead. He wasn't a broker or SX like Epstein was didn't have a little black book he just abused the hell out of everybody he could because he was a piece of shti lots of people probably want him dead but nobody's sweating about what he might say that'll ruin their lives i know it's pretty obvious but the hong kong protests yeah also actually Australia, that after over 250 days is no longer on fire i was just asking somebody if australia was still burning and they told me no so i was very relieved but that's because the fires were put out by floods. Cairo is flooding because of a thunderstorm. Utilities have been off all day that today. Sucks. People's homes have been flooded. Sewers are overflowing and there are injuries, possibly deaths. Not to mention the property damage in the millions racking up to private and public property. Cairo floods every winter due to lack of proper infrastructure. But this storm is severe. Oil price war between Russia and Saudi Arabia. 
don't know much about it but my jaw just about dropped on my way home from a semi-remote vacation and saw that gas was almost down to one dot. Bitch, where are you at? That gas is a dot. Did you see? I oh. I guess I shouldn't be talking to you about gas prices since it's made of your, like, ancestors or whatever. We'll move on. Dollar. 90 a gallon in our city. Think they had oil going for like $30 what a barrel fuck? or something. Oil price war combined with COVID-19 is what's tanking the US domestic economy right now. Not many people missed that among the coverage. Kim Jong-un trying to get the attention back by letting off fireworks in his <laughs> garden again. I'm curious how severe coronavirus is in North Korea. Given their relative isolation. Though I do believe NK has a strong relationship with China. Smugglers regularly cross the border between NK and China to bring in illegal goods like western media and books. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them caught the virus and oh, brought it home no. too. Johnny Depp is suing the sun. Edit. As someone said in the comments. The sun is a shtty newspaper yes. in the UK. I almost didn't edit this because the replies have been hilarious, but I feel I probably should lol. Wait, I like knew the sun was like a newspaper, so that made sense to me, but I guess somebody else was just, I'm sure some people were just like, what do you mean he's suing the sun? Like what? Okay, that's fucking funny. The fact that if you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma due to exposure to asbestos, you may be entitled to financial compensation. GOP Senate crossed aisle to rebuke Betsy DeVos for collecting on student loans that were supposed hey. to be forgiven. They went against Trump's rich buddy. She's still in her position though. Despite the corruption. Oh yeah and asteroid is said to fly by yeah. Earth. Maybe we can have multiple apocalypse scenarios at once. Wait, guys, I could have used a trigger warning for my friend Eloise here. Hello? It's okay. It's okay. They said it's gonna pass us by. It's not it's not gonna hit us this time. You should be good. Should be good. Asteroid. Virus. Climate change now we just need nuclear. A combo deal. The Olympics are happening in Tokyo 2020. I don't think they're happening anymore. Harvey Weinstein rushed to hospital with chest pains. I hope he gets the best care possible and recovers to the fullest of his potential health. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of years behind bars waiting for him and he needs to experience every single one of Amen. them. Amen. Don't let coronavirus distract you from the fact that in 1966, oh, Lord. Al Bundy scored four touchdowns in a single game while playing for the Polk High School Panthers in the 66 oh, City Championship God. game versus Andrew Johnson High School including the game-winning touchdown and the final seconds against his old nemesis, Bubba Spare Tire Dixon. The upcoming worldwide economic recession. Is anybody... I mean, I don't... Is anybody missing that? I'm, I'm pretty sure we're all... Okay, Eloise. Eloise! Sit up and chill the fuck out. Like I said, is anybody missing that? Because I'm pretty sure we all are aware... We all know it's coming. We about to be some broke ass hoes in this bitch, bro. Like, broke ass hoes. Brigham Young University in Utah, USA changed the wording in its honor code that every student is required to sign. They removed the part banning any LGBTQ plus relationships. People came out because they felt safe. Two weeks later they clarified that it was still against the rules to be LGBTQ+, but it was already too late for those brave enough to come oh, out. Oh, wow. The Pope has publicity announced that evolution is real. Oh, he did it. Did he and really? And so forth that the Earth is older than 2,000 years. Look at that, Mom and Dad. You can stop calling me a liberal now. I mean, I am. But you can stop saying, like, I've changed since I went to college. Even though I don't. You know what? Just keep saying those things. It's fine. Years. Literally not a single Christian or Catholic outcry seen. The Fed gave banks one dollar. Five trillion today to try and... <laughs> one dollar. One point five trillion dollars today. Stabilize the market. It worked for about an hour. And then the market resumed its free fall. So they basically tossed over a trillion dollars of taxpayer nice. money into a hole That's today. That's fine. For perspective. One dollar. 
$5 trillion US dollars is also the combined total of student debt in this country. There's solid proof that the elected Colombian president campaigned oh. with narco traffic money. Most likely they bought oh, the presidency cool. for no, him. No biggie for that. My state is trying to pass a bill right now that would outlaw abortion in the event Roe v. Wade is overturned. Hopefully that never That's happens, so but it's still concerning. Also, Lori Vallow's yes! children are still missing. No one knows where they are, and she hasn't told anyone anything yes, except that they are safe. I've been trying to figure safe. out what is going on with this white woman and her kids. Like, if y'all don't give me an update on what is going on, I think that bitch killed him. I think her and her new husband killed him, but I would like to know for sure, for sure. It's kind of related to coronavirus. But I am a physician in one of the US communities currently experiencing a sharp increase in COVID-19 cases. Our local blood supply has reached critical levels due to many cancelled blood drives. As well as cancellations by regular donors oh, who are trying no. to practice social distancing. Unfortunately, our blood product needs in the hospitals don't stop at this time. They really don't. We still have many critically ill patients, bone marrow transplant, open heart surgery, ETC, who need blood, and especially platelets. If you are young and healthy in a community impacted by COVID-19, please consider visiting your local blood center to donate. Especially if you are typo or ab, or can donate platelets. Oh wow. Even if you are in a community not yet hit by the virus, donate anyway. consider donating. As many blood centers are part of a national network that can share products. The risk of getting or spreading the virus in this setting is relatively low. But you will be helping save someone's life. This is a small thing you can do right now to truly help someone in need. Long time Reddit lurker but created an account to bring awareness to this. As I have not seen a lot of attention either on Reddit or in the news. Yeah, that's not something that's not something I've ever considered, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense that people would probably stop donating. Well, that's what you missed dealing with the coronavirus. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get Eloise to bed here because this bitch can't sit up straight. So, peace out, ho biscuits. It's getting lit.